My name is Tony Ramirez um, from Hayward, California. I was born in Charleston, South Carolina. Uh, my father was in the Navy, but I've been raised here in Northern California, San Francisco Bay Area since I was like three years old. TFTI stands for Thanks for the Invite. Uh, when I first heard the acronym years ago, uh, I thought it was funny. You know, people would say TFTI this, TFTI that. I would say it back at them, like when I'd see little posts of them, like on an anniversary dinner or something like that, I would, you know, message them TFTI, TFTI, you know. And then when I started posting, you know, pictures on my personal page of barbecue, people would always, you know, respond back to me in my comments, TFTI. So back in 2021, when I decided to create a barbecue page, that was the first name that came up to me was TFTI Barbecue. Always been in the barbecue. Uh, I love cooking. I love creating recipes. Uh, a lot of it came from my mother, who was a stay-at-home mom. Uh, she would cook a lot. She was the Cajun part uh, of my background. My father is Filipino. He was in the Navy. He was also a chef in the Navy. I think it was just in my blood to cook. Um, I turned that into barbecuing because I love to be outside, hanging out, drinking a cold beer, you know, chilling with the homies and the, you know the family. And then um, since I started the social media, people were excited about the recipes I would create and then I would inspire them or they would comment, message me that I inspired them to go into the backyard, whip out the grill, you know, cook something new that they never did before. And, you know, them telling me that they love it so much. So, you know, that's my real passion now is to just create dope recipes for people to try that is something completely different than what you normally would see out there. I don't know, I feel like my brain just don't stop. Um, I'll see like recipes online or somebody create something or just something, you know, typical, like a typical recipe on TV, you know, on somebody's feed or whatever. And having the backgrounds that I have, like, you know, the Filipino culture, Cajun culture, I figure out ways how I can turn that into something else, you know, adding some Filipino flair to it, some Cajun flair to it, just like what I do with, you know, American barbecue. Uh, just infusing stuff and, you know, a lot of that just comes to the head, you know, like, I see something, idea pops, and that's it, you know? Uh, you know, a lot of the inspiration is by my peers, you know, of course, and, and you know, the OGs of the barbecue community. But uh, I like to, you know, twist things around when I play around with recipes. So uh, I used to post pics on my personal page, uh, my barbecue, you know, just showing off cool things I made or ate. Um, at that time, I didn't really have a TikTok. My girlfriend would always send me TikTok videos of other influencers, other creators that are actually my friends now. And you know, to me at the time, I thought it was dumb. Like I didn't, <laughs> I didn't see no reason to. Uh, you know, especially like on my personal page. You know, like you know, even close friends and family wouldn't even show me love on my cool barbecue pictures. You know, you know. And then it wasn't until like my friends caught on to that conversation. I started watching more and more TikToks, and then finally, 2021, I just created a TikTok uh, page, created an IG page, and started posting. And then um, within a few months, it started blowing up. That kind of felt good, because you know I was getting love for you know the things I created, uh, and that what I, what I wasn't getting on my personal page. And ever since then, it's just been a constant rise, and I'm totally having fun with it. Uh, I don't think I'll ever stop doing it because I love food and to me like creating content is like art and, uh, and I love it. It's great. Um, I didn't anticipate getting this big, uh, if that's what you want to call it. I was just doing it for fun. Um, I think my first uh, brand deal was like in, you know, early 2021. And uh, yeah, I didn't think I would ever get paid doing this. Um, and I did it, it was pretty cool to get that little paycheck. Um, ever since then, you know, a lot more brands have reached out to me and, and at the same time, my pages kept blowing up. And uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool, I, I love what I do. I 
no it did not uh, you know I wasn't raised that way I've, I've always been a real humble guy uh, you know growing up I struggled on who I wanted to be uh, you know I think everybody does that at a young teenage age uh, you know you don't you don't know where you fit in in society you know and uh, I think right now like I found my my niche in society is you know being a an influencer uh, creating recipes being a cook an online cook and uh, yeah it hasn't changed me at all you know uh, I meet a lot of people a lot of people recognize me where I go uh, it makes me nervous I'm still nervous I'm a very shy guy I think I'm more nervous than they are when they approach me but uh, I don't think it's changed me at all uh, I'm always going to be who I am, yeah, nothing will change me, nothing will change that. I'm grateful for all my fans, my followers, my subscribers, uh, if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be at where I'm at today, you know, it's constantly growing, uh, it's crazy, uh, can't believe a lot of you guys love what I do, uh, I never knew I'd be in front of a camera all the time. Uh, I'm a real shy person. Now I'm constantly on a camera, camera, especially with Amber's TV and my show on there. I want to thank my collaborators, sponsors, and partners uh, helping me get to this point. You know, trusting me in their products. Uh, I have fun doing it. Um, and yeah, I totally enjoy it. And then now I'm able to make this my full-time job as of May of last year. Uh, it's pretty cool, you know. Uh, I had one of the coolest jobs. I used to work at Meta, and leaving that was a big scare. Being able to take that leap, you know, into this full time, I couldn't have never done that without my fans, followers, and especially my sponsors and partners. I want to continue doing this. I have fun with it, I love it. Uh, at the same time, it's feeding my family. I want to continue creating content, continue inspiring people to get in their backyard and barbecue. Also create content, you know, if it's something you love, why not film for it, you know, get paid doing it. You know, come out with my own rubs and spices, you know, like everybody else. I have a sauce coming out real soon this year. Working on a cookbook, uh, that'll be out next year. You know, I got my clothing line. Uh, I've always been in the, you know, cool meme shirts and stuff like that, so I feel like I, I want to do more of that kind of stuff. Uh, and maybe one day come out with a restaurant, you know, a bar and grill. Uh, that'd be pretty cool. Um, and yeah, just spreading the barbecue love and knowledge to the rest of the world, and that's pretty much it, yeah, for now. Yeah, so uh, thank you for, you know, coming onto my website. Something I'm really proud of. We worked on it for like almost a year. Uh, check it out, check out my merch, uh, check out the events that I'll be at, uh, the galleries that I have there that I'll constantly update, uh, check out my recipes especially. You'll find them you know, on there, on, on here, on my website. Uh, I'll have my cookbook for sale on there, my sauce. Just check it out, you know, it's a fun website. I was trying to, you know, trying to bring something different to the barbecue influencer world with this website and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, make sure to subscribe to the newsletter on my website. Uh, you'll get alerts for recipes, events, and then I'll also be doing giveaways. All my giveaways will probably be from my website versus social media. Thank you for all your support, your love, and your encouragement, and uh, I love you guys.